Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be trying out the new Seraphine buffs, winky face, that have uh, hit PvE now. I'll be explaining them to you in a moment. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my videos always. I have no idea why I said in a moment, I'll just explain them to you right now. It's literally like the morning time, I literally like, it's 10am, I woke up and I am making this. So, what they did to Seraphine is they did some changes that Riot's calling a buff, but I'm not even too convinced on whether it's a buff or not. So basically, what they're doing is they're lowering her E cooldown by, let me make sure this is not too loud. Um, they're lowering her E cooldown by, I think, 2 seconds level 1. And then it still scales up, I think, to the same cooldown as at max rank as it was before. So her E cooldown is lower at rank 1 and at earlier ranks. And then they're also changing her W a lot, which these are the bigger changes. So her W now, instead of scaling with champion level, now scales with ability level. And the shield is lower and gives... Right now on live server, Seraphine shield gives herself a bigger shield. Now it gives everyone the same shield. They're also, I think, lowering the numbers on the shield with both the ratio and the base shield. So... It's interesting because it seems like these changes are definitely uh, oriented towards support Seraphine and it seems like you're going to want to be maxing W second and it actually seems like it's going to be a net nerf to mid Seraphine uh, which is a bit disappointing because Seraphine was designed to be a mid laner which some people don't know. She was actually like designed with mid lane in mind which I know some people uh, don't like but since Riot knows that most people like playing her supports I guess they are buffing her for there considering that her win rate is pretty bad there. Uh, so this game I'm going to be going for a more support mid lane build. I think I'm going to be building Moonstone and probably getting a W max second instead of maxing E second. So it definitely seems like that's what they're pushing for now with you wanting to max W second instead of E second. I actually have heard some people told me or have told me too, wow I can't talk, that um they currently max W second on live servers too. I don't know why you would do that. It seems like that would be pretty bad on live servers. You don't really get much except for like a much higher mana cost and a slightly lower cooldown with maxing it on live server second. But if you do that right now, let me know why you do. Is it because E sucks? Uh, they're also lowering the mana cost on her W, so I guess that's a pretty decent buff. Although I don't really think mana cost is that big of a deal like mid game. Uh, I mean, if they lowered the mana cost of her Q or something, it'd be like a much bigger buff. But yes, I believe now on live servers at max rank, her W goes uh, to 130 mana, but now it only goes to 90 mana. So I guess it's a nice little change, but you're not really spamming it anyway. So I feel like it doesn't do that much. But I guess maybe for support Seraphine, you don't really build much mana and you don't go a mana mythic. So I don't know. These are just interesting changes, and I want to see how they affect mid lane. Um, and we're going to be building Moonstone, because maybe Moonstone Seraphine mid is back. I actually could totally see that being the case. I could totally see these changes being a net buff to Seraphine mid, but not to damage Seraphine, to just, uh, you know, support Seraphine mid lane going like Moonstaff or something. We're still going to be maxing our Q first, though. We do want some sort of wave clear or something. So yeah, and if you do like this video, guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really does help with like the algorithm and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, if you do like this video, don't forget to do that. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that too. Um, it really helps with my happiness. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kind of. But no, if you'd like to uh, subscribe, you can do that too. It's free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. All that YouTuber stuff. So we're against the Rise this game, which is actually kind of good. I hope PB game quality is not very good. And I don't think I'm going to be getting like a great, uh, a super great understanding of these changes with just a single PB game. But we'll, we should be able to get a nice feel. I just hope that this game doesn't end really quickly. And Rise is a champion that is a pretty late game champion like Seraphine. So I'm praying that we get some good, good footage from this one. Yeah, mostly right now we're just farming, which I'm totally fine with. I mean, Seraphine is literally a late game champion to begin with. She is a hyperscaler, and uh, yes. So these are the numbers on the shield if you want to like pause and look at them and compare them. They're also making it uh, the healing, the missing health healing per ally uh, higher actually it seems. They're lowering the ratio on it, but now since it scales with ability rank, you need less AP for a bigger heal. So definitely these changes are going to be... Uh, a buff to these sort of Seraphine builds where you go Moonstone. So very interesting. They are trying to push her into that role more, which I guess kind of makes sense. I'm really mixed on these changes. I really like, what do you guys think about them? Let me know in the comments. 
Um, I made a tweet about them, and it was like a lot of people were like discussing it. So I'm curious to see like what you guys all think on YouTube. Um, for me, I'm just kind of not mad, but I'm kind of disappointed that Riot seems to be prioritizing support Seraphine and nerfing mid lane Seraphine to support support Seraphine. That made no sense, but I hope it did to you. Uh, yeah. A little bit disappointed in that, but I guess it's because most people want to play Seraphine support. Like, even when she was good mid, most people still played her support. And even now, probably more people play her support. So, it doesn't surprise me. But I really wish that they would maybe do... Like, changes that I would like to see for Seraphine would maybe be, like, nerfing her W in general. And then maybe buffing the speed on her Q and her E. I think her biggest problem mid lane is just that she takes way too long to come online. And that her abilities, like, her laning is pretty weak. And her, like, skirmishing is pretty weak compared to, like, every other champion. So, I mean, I don't think, though, like, the counter-argument to myself is I don't think that every champion really needs to be, you know, like, a skirmish or a good early game champion. You don't really pick Seraphine to, like, burst people anyways. So I guess in that regard, these changes are a buff to Seraphine. But, yeah. And as for my runes this game, I'm going for uh, Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendent, Scorch, Shield Bash, and Revitalize. Um, I'm not sure if these runes are going to be, like, that good, but Revitalize is just a really strong rune for, like, enchanters in general. So I wanted to take that to kind of amp up my shielding power. How dare you, Ryze. On the right side, this Ryze actually doesn't seem to be that bad. Like, he actually seems to be... to know how to press his abilities, which is actually pretty rare on PB. So, so far this game is feeling quite even, which I like. And like I said, my first item is going to be Moonstone, although I did rest uh, CDR boots. I'm basically or basically going the same build that I would go on Seraphine in like the beginning of Season 11 when Moonstone was really OP on her. And we be farming. We be farming, we be farming. The Seraphine way. And I might just go for another recall here. So we're going to be going through Moonstone Renewer. Uh, I'm actually not going to recall here, guys. Uh, you always want to recall on a cannon minion wave, and I, he doesn't really have much kill pressure on me anyway, so I'll just stay in lane. Let him push the wave into me, farm under turret. I'll be fine. I will survive. Just prepping these minions. And I'll recall on the wave after this one because it's a cannon minion wave. And the reason why you do that is because normally mid laners can't push the wave fast enough to really uh, to really punish you for a cannon minion wave. But like, look, he recalled on this wave and I'm going to punish him pretty hard. He's going to miss this entire wave. Versus if he would have just stayed for this wave, he would have got all this EXP and I probably wouldn't have been able to push it in fast enough for him to not come into lane to soak up the cannon minion EXP. That was a mouthful. It was a wrath god. <laughs> but I hope you understood. I do that a lot. If you've been watching this channel, you know, I um, I tend to talk fast sometimes, which I know is bad, and I know not everyone here speaks English natively. I'm sorry, I will try to work on it a little bit. So we're going to be maxing our W second, so cooldown goes down now per rank, mana cost goes up, but not as much. Shield amount goes up, and the percent healed goes up too. Uh, pretty interesting changes, I guess. Let's go cast a shield on myself right now. Yeah, that shield feels really small. Imagine if that wasn't a double cast, too. Guys, that shield sucks. Like, imagine if Zed was trying to kill me, and I just casted my W, and, like, that's it. I'm so dead there. Live server Seraphine shield, like, that is a noticeable difference. That was a double shield. Let's just do a normal shield. Guys, that shield's like a Lulu shield on a... on A, a lower than Lulu shield on, like, a 17-second cooldown. Ah, yes, Riot. That's a buff, for sure. What is this? What is this 80 shield on a 17 second cooldown? 160 if I double cast it. Oh no. Run, little Nico. I didn't ping it fast enough. I'm sorry. Oh no, he flashed. <gasps> Goodbye, little Nico. I'm sorry. I should have pinged it earlier. Oh, Nocturne. He has his, his spell shield still, or else I would ult him. Like, I feel like these changes might be buffs mid-level- Okay, level 13 Seraphine with Moonstone. 
grouped up with your team with a max W, these changes might be a buff. But before then, nerf. Maybe on support Seraphine you'd even want to like max it first. But like at that point, just be just play Lulu. Like or play Sona, you know what I mean? Like, why are you playing Seraphine if you're maxing W first? That's my whole thing with Seraphine support. It's like I feel like she can be okay. But sometimes it's just like you should just be playing a different character then. Like Seraphine ADC, don't get me wrong, I think Seraphine bot lane as an ADC is actually really good. And I think that there's reasons to pick her there. But support to me, it's just always been like, just play Sona. Or like, just play Lulu. Just play someone that does her job but better. I'm going to TP bot lane because I think that Nocturne's going to ult. Okay. I had my TP fingers ready, but seems like they're not doing this. Okay, I'm not going to TP. Look at that. What is that, guys? That's so bad. Oh my god. I didn't think, like, I looked at it and I was like, these seem like a nerf. Like, I don't know if I like these changes. Like, right, you're calling it a buff, but we'll see about that one. And then I press the button and I'm like, Riot, please. What is this? Come for the show. Seraphine buff, Swinky Face. That's what I call these. Oh, here's Rise. We might be able to just bully him here a little bit. I mean, the E cooldown lower is pretty nice. Like, they could have honestly just lowered the cooldown of E and called it a day. That would have been, you know, a decent enough buff, but... No, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to do these weird W changes, too. They're like, it can't be a buff without a nerf. Um, we need, it like, a few hundred more gold for our Moonstone. If Nocturne ults, the problem, you see, the problem here is if Nocturne ults, I can't TP because I can't see anything. And I know it seems kind of boring, guys. Uh, this Seraphine build really isn't oriented around, like, getting kills in lane and you know i just can't expect myself to do that all the time especially this rise doesn't seem to be terrible at the game so oh, i need to run over here let's see okay oh he doesn't even care is rise there because if he's there i'm helping yeah stun shield pop pop okay there's my kill. An ally has been slain. And now we have three points into our W. I mean, I guess maybe now that you're supposed to max W second, like the lower shield early ranks makes more sense because I'm used to shield just being good just based on my level and not really caring about the ability level. But now that it only cares about the ability level, it's different. This guy's name is Six Yayamiko, for all my Genshin Impact fans. I actually got a Yayamiko. Not to flex. Okay, so we have our Moonstone now. Our W is getting there. It's getting there, it's getting there. The thing about Moonstone Seraphine too is her wave fear is so good just with her base damage and stuff. That you saw right there, I don't really need that much AP to be able to clear the wave. Which is really like the important part about building AP. Or one of the most important parts is just being able to wave clear. So because I don't really need that much AP to be able to do it, I don't really get penalized for building Moonstone on her. The thing is, it's not really useful in lane until, uh, you know, later on. Let's see, a fully stacked Moonstone shield. Double cast. That's still worse than without Moonstone on live servers. Oh. How dare you, Ryze. That hurt. Okay, I want to start grouping ASAP. Like, I want to start feeling these changes soon. But level 13 with the Moonstone is when we're going to really uh, be able to test them, I think, to their fullest extent. But from now on, whenever we group, we'll probably get a decent feel for it. I guess the healing is a little bit up, though. Like, with this AP, I don't think I'd be getting this much healing. We're going to yut him here. I'm going to do my double cast of shield. <laughs> I'm not even going to flash him. I'm fine. Okay. I mean... I mean, I don't think that live server Seraphine would have done that any differently. That's what it boils down to. Like, yeah, like, sure, and we won the fight, but it's like, I don't really know how much these changes are, like, if they're doing anything. Like, if they're... I think they're not helping. If anything, I think they're hurting, because I'm building less damage and doing less shield. 
But, you know, mid game, late game comes. Let's see it. We're just going to be working on taking the turret here. With my 12 second Lulu shield. But only on double cast Lulu shield. Oh. Oh, whoa. Get out of here. Double get out of here. Triple get out of here. Oh, I want to get hit by it. I want him to. Hey, yeah. Okay. When you have a fed Kha'Zix, though, the buffs feel very nice. Haven't heard a soul that wasn't at least a little wrong. Oh gosh, Jin, you wouldn't dare. Go Lulu Shield activate. So we are giving a, I think a little bit of a bigger heal on live servers than we would. I kind of want to yell them. I wish Kha'Zix was still here. I would definitely yell them. Oh, he's coming. Oh no, don't kill me. Yeah! Blah, blah. Oh my god. He's, he's having fun. And I mean, we've gotten quite a good value out of Moonstone so far, I would say. Like, I don't think the value that I've gotten out of it's bad at all. I just want to see the double cast again. That's like, this is what I'm most, like, interested in, honestly. Oh, is that for me? Where is he? Nocturne. Oh, I'm coming. Oh no. Here, Lulu. I think she shielded. Guys, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm pretty sure she shielded herself right there, too. That was not my shield. And, I mean, the benefit to not maxing E, though, is E kind of does suck. Like, I wish they buffed her E. Honestly, I wish they lowered the cooldown of her E and maybe buffed the damage a little bit, because her E is, like, impossible to land, is slow as, like, I don't know, slow as a snail, and it just seems to otherwise be pretty bad. Um, so, I mean, like, per rank on E, you get 20 damage. That's not very good. Like, for, for reference on Q, you get 15 damage, but you... But, 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 but the ratio goes up by a lot too, which is huge. You get more than 15 damage. You get a lot of damage with maxing heal. With maxing, you get 20 damage and the cooldown goes down, mm, like a second. Like on, like two seconds probably. So I don't think maxing E is worth it with these changes for sure. I think before W max didn't really do anything at all. So because of that, you still max E and you get like something out of it. But yes. Oh, look, Lulu. Do not worry, Lulu. Yeah. No rise. He's out. I mean, I guess the cooldown is... So I have 58 ability haste right now, which is 44% CDR. I'm wondering if the cooldown is lower. It does feel maybe a little lower. Let's see now. Max rank. Okay. Maybe at this point now the shield is kind of spammable. Like... Okay, fine. With this build, grouped up, playing ARAM with your team, I think that these changes could be a buff at level 13. But still, it's like for mid lane Seraphine, like I'm playing support Seraphine in mid lane right now, which I don't think it's bad. Like these changes, I think, would probably honestly be better for her. Not better for her, but like they do sharpen her identity as a non damage mid laner. Nope, we're not, we don't have to see the death animation. We've already seen that one. Here, take double shield. We got a yeah here. Yeah. Oh, shield, shield. Die. Let's see the heal here too. Okay, that's a pretty big shield on on Nico. I'll be honest. Okay. I mean, gotten good value out of Moonstone. Maybe just Moonstaff Seraphine's back. Maybe that's what, you know, what we've learned from this. I'm actually going to be going Redemption. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to be saving Nico. And helping him kill Rise. Never mind. Oh, here's Aphelios. Slow down there, Kangaroo. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm going to be going Redemption as my third item. I think Redemption's a super undervalued item, and now it's starting to become more and more like meta on. Uh, Enchanters, it gives, it's really cheap and gives you 20% heal and shield power on top of like that really powerful active. It's just a really, really strong item in general, so that's what I'm going to be going for my next uh, item here. And right now, now we have 68 ability haste, which is, which will go up when I proc this thingy on people. 40% CDR. Dang, isn't it kind of crazy, guys, to think, like, before Season 11, that would have been, like, uh... It would have been much easier to build and cap out on CDR. Okay, well, that's me trying out the Seraphine changes. I think... I, I They surrendered. I think that still we got a decent grasp of it. I mean, we saw how bad the shield is early game. We saw how decent the shield can be mid-late game. Um... Yeah, these are Seraphine support buffs. These buffs are going to really help Seraphine players who max W, maybe even first, honestly, on Seraphine. I, I think that might be even possible, too. Just max that W first, get a Moonstone, become like a team shielder. Maybe that's going to be like her identity, but then it's like, just play Sona. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about these changes? Let me know uh, what you think, and I'll show you the damage graph, too, even though I don't think I really did the most. Yeah, I mean, Kha'Zix was just very fed that game. Shield, complete garbage early game. Double casted shield at level 13 when you have Moonstone and Staff of the Flowing Water. Not bad. Uh, yeah, have to wait for these to get in live service to try them out more, but here's just like a little sneak peek of them for you guys on PB. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.